don't know what kind of trouble you're in. I thought you told me your old man parks his car in the parking lot, huh? Yeah. What is that right over there, huh? What do you call that, huh? What do you call that? We're gonna tow that thing so fast. Car. Oh, so I'm a liar now, am ah. I? Well, let me tell you something. I know that's Look your father's car, and I'm gonna give him a ticket the size of Texas it can't to prove be it. my father's car because he parked it in the alley behind the Davidson house. Or... Uh -huh. Stupid, stupid. Lester, look, the ripple miners, that rat Burns told him where the Ford is. Where is it? It's in the alley behind the Davidson house, but I don't have the keys. What? I don't, it doesn't have any gas. Well, come on. All right. Push the car, get in. All right, hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. Hit the brakes, Aaron. Aaron, hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. Shit. Aaron! Oh, Aaron, I have to show you something. Hey, Lester, come, this will come in, Burns, you have a look. Car. You have a look. Yeah. Watch it. Well, I told you they were the best, huh? Aren't they beautiful? It's a king's <laughs> ransom. Here, look at this. Here. Signed by the president of the Hamilton Watch Company, stating that I'm an official representative for Iowa, Kansas, and Oklahoma. What about Missouri? Oh, I didn't get the territory I asked for. But you know, beggars can't be choosers. Are you leaving right now? Oh, don't you worry. I've got it all arranged. You see? Most of the watches are just display models. They don't have any works in sight. But I took two who had works in sight, and I gave one to Manny at the Woodbine. So that by the end of the day, you just walk in and they give you a nice big dinner. It won't be roast beef, but something healthy, like liverwurst. The other one I gave to Desert, and he gave us $17 credit on our bill. You see, as long as you pay them a little something, they won't bother us. And here is 25 cents for spending money. There you go. Yeah. Gonna miss graduation. Darren, you know. Of course.
course I want to be there. Seeing you getting your diploma. But I have no choice. I have to be in Davenport, Iowa, first thing Monday morning. You're going to see Sullivan. Hey, I, I want to give him some marbles. No, no, I won't. Kyoko kiss into my roots. Let me spread out all over the map. Do you know when you're going to be back? I just can't tell. No. But I'll be back as soon as I can, because I'll be very worried. Is there any place I can write to you? What happens if I need to get in touch with you for something? Oh, I guess there isn't. I'll be moving from town to town. <laughs> it's bad luck. Your mother is sick just now. I should put this off, but you know how jobs are. I'm not going to let you leave with that. Oh, Mr. Desert said I could take a few things as long as I let them inspect it. After all, I paid them $17. Hey, walk me over to the car. The car? And lucky for me, your boys saved the car. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to go. Well, I drive you back, but I can't let the Repliviners see me. <sighs> Listen to me, Aaron. You're going to be okay. You're a smart boy. You're very smart. I tell you how smart you are. Once, when you were less than a year old, your mother was in the sanitarium with consumption, and you would cry every night. So the first few times, I picked you up, and you stopped crying. So I realized you just wanted attention. So the next time you cried, I got a glass of cold water, and I stood over the crib, and I said, you see this? This is a glass of cold water, so you better stop crying, or you'll be sorry. But you kept crying, so I poured the cold water in your face, and you stopped crying just like that. And from then on, when you cried, all I had to do was to show you the glass of water, and you'd stop crying. Now, that's a smart baby for you, eh? You'll be a mensch. <laughs> <laughs>